Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your P1000 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Support Representative. This module covers the use of scanner data in Parameter ID View, also known as PID View. The scanner data display shows the live data parameter information from the vehicle control module. To access live data, select Data Display from the Scanner main menu. Depending on the vehicle, this may open a sub-menu of viewing options. Remember, you can scroll down with the touchscreen or keypad for additional selections. Configuration lists specific configurations for the selected motorcycle. Technicians can see how a motorcycle is configured and functioning properly or not. For this example, we'll choose to view engine data operating parameters from the sub-menu. A list of engine data parameters is shown along with a brief description of each parameter. The data appears in a digital text format on the right called PID view. The data values refresh as the vehicle sends new data. The speed may vary depending on the speed of the data being sent from the vehicle and the number of data parameters being shown. Scroll down to see all available data parameters. Here are the rest of the engine data parameters for this vehicle. The data is continuously recorded for all available data parameters. After 4,000 frames are recorded, new data is recorded and overwrites the oldest frames of data. The pause icon indicates live data from the vehicle is being displayed. Selecting the pause icon stops data collection and freezes the data display for closer examination and review. When viewing paused or recorded data, the left and right arrows move forward and back one data frame at a time. When paused, you also have the option to clear the data buffer and start over. This is useful when vehicle conditions change and you want to record and view new frames of data. Use the lock-unlock icon to hold selected lines of the data in place and prevent them from scrolling or to release previously locked lines of data. Up to three lines of data may be held at a time. This feature allows you to position related parameters together making it easier to monitor their values and spot inconsistencies. Locked parameters display as the top frames on the main body of the display screen, as well as their usual position within the data list. A lock icon appears to the left of the parameter name to indicate it's locked. Highlight the parameter to be locked. Select the lock-unlock icon on the toolbar to lock it. A copy of the locked parameter is now at the top of the data list and a lock icon appears alongside the parameter name. Highlight and select additional parameters to lock. Tap the locked parameter name to unlock. The custom data list function gives you even more power to customize the view. Selecting the custom data list check mark opens a menu for selecting parameters to display. Check marks to the left of the parameter description indicate which parameters are selected for display. Here we see the Select All Deselect All icon. Use it to hide or display all the parameters. Touch to deselect all data parameters in the list. Touch a parameter to add it to the custom data list. Touch it again to delete the check mark and delete the parameter from the list. Select as few or as many as you want. Once you've created your custom data list, use the check mark to return to the data display and view the list. Custom data lists can significantly accelerate the speed of the data display by processing only the vehicle data that you need to see, so you can find tough intermittent failures faster. The sort function is another handy way to find and view parameters you need. 
Select the sort icon to sort the list by the factory default sort order, from A to Z, or Z to A. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.